Let me try that again. I'm sorry for the constant uh, reboots and everything. Uh, stuff's a bit janky to fit around with. Uh, I think the lines are still a bit janky. Oh, uh, are you guys alright if the, the graphics are a bit off, despite uh, these settings? Sundered the tongue of your fathers and shattered their arrogant power. Uh, I can't do this. What was Aya thinking when she could give me this song? Ah, uh, just take your time. The, the language of song is borderless, they're boundless. Ah. Uh. Ah, uh, wait. That's weird. The. Uh, the text cuts off, too. So long as the Lord does not live in you, all living beings hold darkness in their hearts. <laughs> the summoning vessel is complete. Will you continue to lend us your strength? I have done nothing. The ancient, uh, the ancient common tongue summoned them. God's no friend of mine. Truly wish to be yourself and rise and fight the darkness within the demon inside. If you have the will to change your destiny of battle, son of man, state your name. Uh, I might have to fiddle with some settings off screen to fix that pixel text. Here we are. Hey, we get to choose our names. Okay, uh... Oh yeah, wait, I forgot. I had to, uh... I had to do it like this. Oh god. Is this backspace? Oh yeah, I just did this. Uh, first name, uh... Yeah, I just go choose part of my name here, perhaps. Uh, last name, last name, uh... Uh... Oh, whatever, I should choose whatever. Boom. Done. Uh, let's see. Fifth name. Oh, whoops. Uh, S. D. Kirby. Oh wait, uh, damn it, it's 6. Uh, that's the SPK. Wait, can I change my s graphic settings during gameplay? Okay, now that doesn't work. Why, why must I change the render while I'm running this? Oh, hey, I fixed it. Hey, OpenGL. <laughs> Oh my god, it looks so much better now. Oh, thank god. Yes, I am sure. As he proclaimed, this world created in seven days shall be destroyed by the sounding of seven trumpets. <laughs> oh. You who have a will, fear the numbers your eyes shall see. Fear the time left. Okay, so apparently using OpenGL to render this actually works. Day before, an end to the ordinary. To 
Sabrina901, mid-August. The summer of your second year of high school is almost over, and of course we still have as high school students. People visiting Tokyo have begun traveling home. It feels as if there are fewer people around in Shibuya. Your cousin Naya, with whom uh, you've been living with until a few years ago, suddenly called for you to meet him outside 901. Hey, SBK, over here! The boy carrying a laptop computer runs up to you. Yo, how's it going? Real nice of Naya to make us uh, meet him outside on a hot day like this, isn't it? So, how's your summer been? You usually meet, uh, met me at school, so it feels like it's been forever. Did everything good? Eh. Eh. Eh, everything's well. Yo, that's the SPK I know. Young guys like us need to be full of energy. No. Uh, <clears throat> sorry. I couldn't think of anything to do, so I spent all my all day on my laptop. Nah, <laughs> uh, this is great timing though, man. I just ran into this problem with my coding. It has me completely stumped, so I was about to ask uh, Glass Naya if you can help. Oh, there you are. Uh, I've been looking for you guys everywhere. Oh, hey, here comes Yuhu. Oh, don't call me Yuhu. My name is Yuzu. Sheesh. Do you stop calling me by that stupid nickname? Even the boys at school call me Yuhu, and it's all your fault. <laughs> that is not that bad, is it? That's a friendly nickname. And it's not just our class, some of the teachers actually think your name is Yuhu. Oh, that's because people like you keep calling me that. Ah, it's working! Uh, uh... Nah, let's not pick on us here, let's get to the matter. Hey. Uh, where's Naya? Huh? Oh, that's right! I ran into Naya a moment ago. He, he asked me to give these to you, uh, after on you. He said that something's come up and he wouldn't be able to make it. Oh, all of a that, Naya stood us up. Wait, uh, what did you want to give us? Here, take them. They're a pain to carry in my back, too. Use it opens up that. Uh... These are... game systems? <laughs> oh jeez, I, I wonder what these are, guys. <laughs> uh, aren't those... aren't these those communication player things? Uh, I've seen commercials for them before, and they're like, play with people around the world. Oh, you know about them? Uh, you know about them, Yuhu? Oh, that's exactly what those are. The name Communication Player is a real mouthful, so people just call them comps. They have an email and web browser, so they, they're more like cell phones than actual game systems. Huh, is that so? Uh, Naya said you'll all need these, don't let go of them. Ah, oh, you'll all need, huh? Well, there are three of them. Still, why would he need these? I mean, I got a comp of my own back home, but, huh? Hatsuro opens one of the comps and stares at it in wonder. What the? I've never seen this in a Did he homebrew? Did he homebrew this? Uh, what? Uh, do you mean he made this by himself? Uh, is that possible? Huh? Don't you know you do? Now you're famous among his programmers. He's a genius. Something like this would be no problem for him. Huh. I had no idea. Uh, is he really that good? Hmm. I can't, I can't open this folder. Looks like it's protected. Uh, protected? Uh, you mean it's set so other people can't mess with it, right? Uh, we can't look inside then. Oh, that just removed the lock. Heh <laughs> that's right, good thing I brought my laptop along. Hatsuru connects his comp- uh, connects the comp to his laptop and begins typing furiously. Huh? Hey, uh, Hatsuru, what are you doing? <laughs> uh, what does it look like I'm doing? I'm gonna crack this folder wide open. You're hacking it? But hey, but now he's gonna be angry if you do that. That is not a big deal. Huh? Uh, are you sure about this? Ah, you don't get it, you who now is my teacher. If he took the time to call me up and give it to me, then that means he wants to give uh he wants me to break his protection scheme. Uh, it's like a friendly it's like a friendly greeting. Uh, that doesn't make any sense. Why can't he just say hello like a normal person? Uh let's take a look here. What's his encryption scheme this time? Haha! <laughs> Isn't this intense? 
Uh, no. Only someone like you will find this exciting, Natsuo. Hmm. Ah, there we go. Can at least check your mail for now. So here, uh, these are yours. I see Asura gave you a call. Okay. From the Observer Laplace Mail. Good morning, here's today's news. Around 1600, a man will be killed in the Shibuya Ku uh, A Aoyama apartment. The wounds on the corpse are consistent with an attack by a large carnivorous beast. Number 2. A large explosion will occur in Minatoku uh, A Aoyama at 1900. The cause is unknown. At 2100, a blackout would affect the entire Tokyo metropolitan area. Have a nice day! Uh, 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 around 1600 at Shibuya Ku a, a man will be. Huh? Will be attacked by some carnivorous beast. What, what kind of news is this? That's so creepy. Uh. The text is rather strange. But hey, that's not the point. Uh, it also said there'll be a blackout in Tokyo today. What is this? It says today's news, but none of this has happened today. Why would Dahlia put a lock on this? Oh, wait, oh, maybe it's a code for something. See, Aoyama, Aoyama. Hmm. Dahlia's place is near there, but is it that important? Ah, uh, that's enough. This is way too creepy. I bet Naya uh, knew you would tinker with the cops and play a trick on us. Uh, I don't know. He's amazingly smart, so I think he must have meant for this to happen. But I can't figure it out just from this. Uh, I'll try reading the rest of the files too. I'm gonna go find somewhere I can think, so go t go kill some time. Oh, and uh, you can take these comps. Some of the functions still uh, work, so you might as well try them out. See you later, okay? Astro leaves the area and takes a closer look at the comp. Oh, uh, see ya, Scar. Uh, thanks for stopping by. Huh. I bet it's all just a prank. That's how it always acts like I'm such a kid with this stuff. Uh, so what should we do, SPK? Um, uh, why don't we wander around until, uh, that's where it's done. Here, and use it, leave the 901. Well, what should we do? We can go and kill some time in Shibuya, or go somewhere else. I'm okay in the way. Here's the location we let go to the next continue of the story events. The X button will open the menu and you can save the game among other things. The help text at the bottom of the lower screen describes the currently highlighted option. Let's see, blah, blah, blah. Sucks to work on a holiday. Okay, I don't think there's anything important. Uh, I don't want to talk about Atsuro or this unknown dude. Uh, let's go look around here first. So we save the game. Uh, I forgot. It was 3, 2, 1. Oh, whatever. We just get messages. Display help in battle. Okay, I'll leave that direction as is. Alright, character profiles. Asuro Kihara, high school, high school classmate of his and best friend of Ray. Complained through Naya through programmers or uh, through programming forms online before being Ray. Trying to become a programmer, called himself Naya's number one apprentice. Yuzu Tanakawa, childhood friends with Ray since grade school, also knows his cousin Naya. Still friends with Ray now that uh, they're in high school together. Asuro likes to call her Yuhu. Any uh, cool mail? Not really. Alright, let's go talk to this guy. Let's see, Shinjuku. Let's see, Shinjuku. Uh, kan wait, Kanagi? Kanagi Cho? Okay. Uh, as usual, Japan's largest shopping district is busting. bustling. <laughs> now, uh, what should we do? Wanna go watch a movie? Or do some karaoke? Huh. That's where my call us, so we should go start with some cell phone reception. You notice a, suspi a suspicious group wearing bizarre outfits standing in the street. 
The man who appears to be on their leader is making a speech on the podium. And lo, the smiting, uh, the smiting from God against the Tower of Babel returns. Oh man, uh, what's with that bunch of weirdos? Now along with our Shomunkai, let us bring the world together. With the power of the internet, the world will be, be as one once more. The power of the internet? Ah, uh, give me a break. Uh, are you interested in this, SPK? Ah, uh, I'm kinda interested. Huh? I didn't think you, I didn't think you would be. Uh, uh, sorry, I didn't mean it in a bad way. Well, uh, even I think it's great uh, how the internet lets you connect with the world. But all this stuff about gods and bringing the world together, I, I don't know. Oh, see you in a bit, uh, Rhino. Ugh, why are you talking about this? Let's go somewhere else, SPK. Tonight, and for the next three days, fellow members who believe in the power of the internet will gather in Tokyo. All are welcome to take the part. Believe in his majesty and prepare for the ordeal. This is when we shall... The speech continues. The stores around here are really- Oh wait, but... Ah, the stores- The stores around here are really fashionable. And they're all like, so mature, you know? I, I used to go, uh... I used to go to, uh... Harajuku uh, all the time, but... I always wanted to fit in and open- oh, God, these names! <laughs> uh, I fit in in, uh... Omotes- Omotesando? <laughs> oh god, I, I'm breaking out of voice, so... Oh, I'm not even sure my voice work is even that good. Ah. <laughs> uh. Hey, uh, you think so I stick out like a sore thumb around here? Eh, I give it a... <laughs> oh, I could be a dick right here. <laughs> ah, nah, you fit right in. Oh, no way! Really? Aw, oh, thanks! Uh, do you think that uh, Horajuku and Omotesando have different images? Well, the sound of the feels more like Aoyama's style than Harajuku's. Speaking of Aoyama, hey, uh, SBK, what time is it right now? Uh, it's 16.30. 16.30, <sighs> uh, I was just thinking about that email in the comp earlier. It, you know, uh, the one about someone being attacked by a nervous beast. It said the attack happened in the Aoyama area, right? It's around at the right time, too. At that moment, several police cars zoomed down the street, sirens wailing. Hey, uh, those police cars, uh, they're heading towards Aoyama. Uh, <laughs> uh, there, there's no way that can be true, right? Uh, hey, uh, the highest apartment is in Aoyama, right? So, should we go check it out? Ah, don't worry about it. Uh, let's go then. Uh, yeah. Uh, I'm a little scared, but you should, you should be okay. Uh, let's go. Wait, are you kidding? Oh my god. Uh. The residential area. It seems that the police were going to a building in... Er, go... Blah, blah, blah. It seems that the police were going to the building now he lives in after all. Er, after all. The scene is roped off by the police and a crowd of onlookers is gathered. Someone else who just arrived approach, uh, approaches you. Now yeah? Ah, uh, I'm surprised to see you, Ray. Uh, what are you doing here? Oh, we're, we're worried. That's right, uh, we, we thought something might have happened to you, Naya. Oh, uh, you mean the incident in the building? Well, of course that's what we mean. What's going on, anyway? That weird email you uh, made it, made us read uh, made us all jumpy. Oh, I see. You're right. Uh, sorry about that. Didn't mean to frighten you. The person who was eating live was the student. Like yourselves. He lived right next door to me. 
was Ian? No way. It, is what that email said really true? But we got the email before the it, before the incident even happened, so yo, uh, SPK, but what does this all mean? It's telling the future. Oh wait, no, no. It's a warning. There's a warning. Ah, oh, I see. You're saying that I sent the email, then I carried out the murder. That does seem like a logical explanation, but no, that's not what happened. I understand why the two of you came here, right? But our meeting here is an accident. We shouldn't be talking like this. Hurry and find out to her immediately. It's going to begin soon. But, but again, uh, what, are you, what are you talking about? Naya looks away. He seems to have no intention of answering any more questions. There isn't much time left, so listen to me carefully, both of you. Do not turn away with, uh, do not turn away from what is about to happen now. Do not be afraid to stand up against it. That is when the door of truth will open. Overcome your fate. Oh, wait! Now he walks away. Uh, he's gone. Something didn't seem right with him, huh? I wonder what's wrong. Just then, your cell phone rings. The caller ID says Atsuro. Oh, I can't hang up on him. Yo, I found out I cracked those uh, cracked the encryption on those comps. Uh, I need I need yours so I can lock them. Uh, meet me in front of the uh, electric museum in Shibuya. Uh, so why don't we meet up with Atsuro? I'm all confused from everything that's happened so suddenly. Maybe Atsuro has figured something out in his head. Alright, here, here we are with our first battle. The Electric Museum is north of the Shibuya, uh, is north of Shibuya along the Yamano line, east of the Miyas Miyashida Park. Yo, what took you guys so long? How far away how far away did you go when you were time? I don't know. Uh, we went to Naya's place. Huh? Oh, you guys went to see Naya? Uh yeah. Uh well you used to tell us Atsuro about what happened on Yama. They also mentioned about what uh happened, uh matched the email you received and what Naya said. Wait, what? Are you saying the email actually came true? You ran into Naya, why didn't you call me? I, mean, I had some stuff to ask him. Uh, sorry. Uh, there so much was going on that we kind of forgot you. Oh, well, that's okay. Figure out now isn't gonna change anything. So, what's going on? Uh, is, is what that email is blah, blah, blah. Is what was written that that email actually coming true? Ah, come on, there's no way an email can be in the future. Are you sure he didn't fall for one of Naya's pranks? Do you really do that though? Uh, when you put it that way, uh, well, Naya is human too, so, you know, he, he must have a sense of humor. But someone really did get killed, I mean, the police were all over there. Uh, I can't believe they'd be part of this joke. Huh, so if Naya was telling the truth, that email wasn't a warning, right? Unless someone really did predict the future, it, it's probably just a coincidence. Um, but there's more in the email, though. Uh, what do you mean? Oh yeah, I mentioned an explosion and a blackout, right? Oh, if it was really predicting the future, it'd be, it would be odd if they don't, if those don't happen. Still, they seem pretty unlikely. Uh, what? But, ah, who cares? Once I crack those, uh, these comps and look inside, it all makes sense. I'm still not convinced, but tell us what you figured out uh, for now. You did figure something out, right, Atsuro? Oh yeah, well, I was really fooled. I thought, I thought, whatever. <laughs> I got words right now. Uh, I think Naya uh, knew I tried to get inside one myself. Seems like these three comps are always monitoring each other, so I can't crack one alone. See, the comps are consistently transmitting certain signals to each other. 
Without that input, several parameters are set in the way to make that it's impossible to... Ah, uh, my head! Uh, enough of the explanation, just hurry up and do it. Oh man, you never change. Well, anyway, I'm gonna go unlock the systems, okay? Alright, turn your comps on, you guys. While waiting for Atsuro to finish, you look up and see someone who looks like Naoya in the distance. Although Shibuya is a popular area, the street is empty and he seems to stand out. His handsome face is expressionless, but gives off a cold feeling. Alright, I'm done. Uh, I'm resigning the comps, guys. Oh, what? Encryption confirmed. Booting program. Uh, I can't read spaghetti code. Condition green. Demon summoning program ready to boot. Booting demon summoning program. Uh. Peaceful days are over. Let's survive. Whoa! Uh, monsters came on the cops? Ah! Uh, what is this? I, I can't work on my <laughs> the screams. Uh, I thought I was gonna suffocate in there forever. So, this is the human world, huh? Huh. Then these humans must be the ones who summon me. Oh, we'll fight then. Uh, we'll fight then. If I win, I'll have my freedom. Let's go! Hey, get ready, I'm not gonna let you guys go. You have to die so I can go free. <laughs> ah, no way, don't, don't, don't come any closer. Uh, fuck. <laughs> <laughs> oh, you gotta love emulation sometimes. <laughs> oh, that sound is so, that sound is so janky. Uh. Covered all of her health. Ah, humans are tasty demon food. Whoa, wait, what, what are you? Oh, welcome back, Rhino. How you doing? Right now we're just doing the tutorial fight uh, for Double Survivor. Basically, uh, Atsuro cracked open the comps and uh, started up a double summoning program so that uh, we have to fight these things so we won't die. So yeah, Nalia pulled a fast one on us, but we're still trying to figure out why the hell he gave us demon summoning comps. Oh, oh, sounds a bit off. Ah, uh, why do the humans attacks hurt? No one said anything about this. Uh, what the, the wait, that should have hurt me way more than it did. This is weird, humans are supposed to be truly and soft, not hard. Fight me, humans! Me win. Oh, be careful. Uh, uh, you've got to get them before they get to you. You have to fight. Well, first off, I'm going to go defend against that guaranteed critical. So... Alright, that removed my extra turn, but I didn't take that critical damage. Ah, you strong. It's fun! Fight some more! Welcome to the comp tutorial. Use the attack command to strike foes. You can attack uh, any square adjacent to you. If you attack a distant foe, get closer by using move, and we'll complete your turn. So wait, hold on, is there a way I can make this faster? Uh, ah oh crap, I can't get any speed on this, huh?
Oh, I guess I have to deal with the speed for a while. Oh yeah, it was a double server overclock that they had faster move speeds. Uh, I really wish I had that 3DS capture card uh, so I can actually stream double server overclocked, but that thing costs 200 plus. Oh <laughs> uh, uh, what? The the attack worked. Uh, our attacks work on these guys. Uh, is it is it because of these cops? Defeated. Ah, uh, I've heard that uh, if I lose, I'll become a servant. Ah, well. I'm the monster Kabusa. Nice to meet you. The monster disappears, mumbling and clear. But, uh, yes! Oh, I, I, huh. Yes, we can win, you guys. We can't die here. Buy a DDR. Oh wow! Very nice. You really do love your Rimmel games, huh? If you're gonna buy all that. <laughs> See, but oh, I missed the first one. Whoops. But uh, I'll have to buy by the contract. Uh, I have to lend you my powers. I'm the fairy pixie, so don't you dare waste me. <laughs> the monster disappears, mumbling and cooking. Nice. You're gonna buy body pills for days? Sweet. Oh wait, oh. Okay, so the thing- Oh god, I, I, I still get thrown off without the music uh, t uh, pitch changes because of the emulator. Okay, so I think for- uh, in terms of stat builds, I think it's gonna do what I did in the original Devil Survivor when I played this before. Because uh, in the original version, uh, doing a strength build sucks for the main character. There's not enough physical skills to go around if you have a physical heavy party. And uh, let's just say that physical attacks aren't really that viable once we get to end game. So I'm just going to be doing a magic build and uh, go burn some stuff. Bruh, me lost. If me defeated by one who summons me, become master. This called contract only heard of them. Me, Cobalt, Demon of War. To meet you, nice. God, this is the good track. <laughs> the monster disappears, mumbling coherently. But yeah, like I was saying earlier, uh, in the in those Survivor Overclocked, they actually added um, some different amounts of changes to the original game. Do some agility to bounce it out. So, because uh, in Double Survivor, they change a few things to uh, fix the balance. They add a few new skills, they add a few new monster types so that certain devil species are viable late game to craft for. And Double Star Old Park also has the Day 8, uh, which is basically because uh, over the course of this game, it will happen in the course of a week, but Overclock is basically an expansion, I guess. But, uh, yeah, uh, like I said before, no 3DS capture card. Ooh, fancy numbers. Uh, I'm still alive. But, but we're all still alive! Ah, uh, that was so scary. 
But what's going on? Uh, uh, what was that? Atsuro, what did you do? What did you do? Oh, God, my, my, my voice. Atsuro, what did you do? I, I, I don't know either. I, I just undid the encryption. The program activated itself. Then the, the comp is what made this just happen now? Ah, oh, that doesn't make any sense. That, that, that's just... Get that back. That's just impossible. Uh, let's go to police. We can't hold on to any stages. Uh, nah. Let's check them out. Uh, check them out? Uh, what more is there to see? No, oh, calm down, you. I think he's right. Huh? Uh, what are you saying? Uh, what are you saying? What, what will we do if uh, those demons come out of this thing again? Will you settle down a little? I know you're freaking out. I was there too, you know. But even after what just happened, is it right to throw away everything immediately? You don't even know if that's the safest thing to do at this point. <coughs> oh god, my voice. I was really expecting to do voice work. Alright, I'm ready. Well, I said to keep them. Uh, he didn't say that we would need them. Uh, I'm gonna take a deeper look at these comps, okay? Yeah, but if something comes out, we're gonna make a run for it. I've had it with this. Yeah. I sort of, uh, connects. Ah, oh, that's weird. I thought I heard something at my door. <laughs> yeah, like, for some reason, my room always makes this weird sound. <laughs> like, I always think someone's, like, at my door, but then I look around and it's like, nothing's even here. <laughs> Anyways. Asuro connects the comp to his laptop and begins examining the files. Ah, oh, I get it, so that's why. Uh, did you figure something out? Yeah. First, this process is named the Demon Summoning pro Program. Demon? You mean like, from books and myths and all that stuff? Uh, how should I know? I mean, I can't wrap, wrap my head around how a computer can summon these demons. Uh, well, rituals can summon them. Rituals? Oh, you mean in like an fantasy manga? Uh, I suppose it's possible to convert the spells and procedures into a the program, but... Anyway, uh, the other function I found in this comp is called the Harmonizer. Um, so it, uh, harmonizes? Question mark? Uh, I suppose so. I mean, the word harmonize just means to match or adjust. It's similar to the summoning program, I, but I have no idea what principles are behind it. But it seems to match some wavelengths so that our attacks work on demons. And likewise, it tunes their attacks to listen to that we take from them. Uh, I'm totally lost. Uh, I don't get any of this. What is Naya trying to do? Summoning demons, protecting us from them? What does he want us to do? Maybe we fight demons? But why? Are we supposed to bring about world peace or something? Huh? Oh wait, oh wait a second, that's it. What? Uh, don't tell me it's really for world peace. Ah oh, no no, not that. Do you guys remember that email? The one with those predictions? Uh, 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 the one with those predictions? Yeah. Uh, I'm sorry. <laughs> I I I drank a lot of juice and uh, my my throat was feeling the funny with the air bubbles. Uh, give me a sec. <clears throat> okay. <sighs> uh, I thought about how the comps functions work would work with communication in it. Take this for example. The death in Aoyama was blamed on an animal attack, right? Huh? Uh, yeah. What if it wasn't an animal? But a demon, like the ones that appeared earlier. What? Uh, wait, what do you say? If you're trying to scare us, knock it off. No, I'm not trying to scare you. I want to sort this thing out. Okay, to start out, if the email delivered to our comms really did predict that, then we, we, then we would have known where the attack was, but... That. Then we would have known when and where the attack was due to occur before it happened. So, if we wanted to, we could have been there at that moment. In addition, the comps are modified to summon demons and fight against them. So what conclusions can we draw from this? Uh, 
See you, Origami. Uh, have a nice one. Uh, I'm, pro I'm probably just gonna play uh, Double Star until we get to the end of the first uh, the prologue day. I, th I think I'll stop before we do anything with day one. It's getting kind of late. Uh, yeah, uh, that's what I think too. Uh, huh? Uh, there's been a lot of weird stuff in the city lately. Th been this before the rumors. There have always been strange things happening, but a lot of them have been around here lately. What if they're all ignored by the public, but they were actually caused by demons? And what if we could use these cops to fight those demons? <gasps> then, are you saying these cops were made to fight the demons who were doing this all along? Yeah, that is, if demons are really the cause of these things. Uh, I'm so not doing that, but why can't we just give these back to Naya or somebody else? Uh, you don't believe Naya? No, uh, that's not what I mean, but... Naya's really good at finding things in advance. I don't know why he chose us to have these, but there must be a good reason behind it. I mean, I don't want him to fight any uh, monsters like that again either. But if we get attacked by demons like the other victims, then you know, I can't just give this comp up. And without them, we're just normal people. Uh, we don't stand a chance against demons. If... If you're right, Atsura, then this stuff is being caused by demons. And even if these cops were made to fight those demons, then why us? Like, the, the police should be the ones dealing with this stuff. We can give them to the police, but if we do, we'll never get them back. That said, do you really think we can protect ourselves without them, you know? I'm sick of all of this. Why, why is this happening? Oh, uh, what's wrong, SPK? Uh, why are you staring above my head? Uh, is there something there? Um, you don't see that number above your head? Uh, you explained that ever since the battle, you've been seeing uh, numbers over people's heads. Most people walking by have a seven, but the two you have a three, or a one. I, ca I can't read. Uh, this is why my English comprehension is pretty bad. <laughs> I can't even read a one. Uh, a number over our heads? Uh, what are you talking about? Um, I don't see anything either, but you look rather serious. Uh, what's going on? Man, is it because of the comp too? You know so little about all this, I, I feel like my head's gonna blow up. Hey, um, why don't we go back to Nadia's place after all? All this about the comp, the email, the everything else? We really need him to tell us. Um, will you even be there though? Uh, it's better than sitting around here. Come on, SPK. Uh, let's go see him. You know, I think I should rename my character's name so it's just Kirby. <laughs> to make life easier on me. <laughs> uh, I'll, I'll probably do that off stream. <laughs> Uh, yeah, um, I need to talk to Naya too. Let's go to Ayama SPK. Or maybe I just refer to myself as Kirby without changing the follower. Yeah, uh, I was, cause like, uh, like when you're making your name as a display name, you know, I kinda thought I'd do what I normally do in these games, and, or in other games like that, and just like short it with my, uh, normal initials, but it's so awkward when you read them out in the conversation, <laughs> just the three letters. Uh. Is there anything I can get from here? Because I remember getting something, uh... Huh. Uh, I guess we don't get anything, actually. Alright, to the residential area. It seems like the police are still investigating. The police barriers are still up. Man, we'll never get near Nari's room like this. Hey, uh, over there! User points to a mailbox full of newspapers. Huh? But isn't that Nari's mailbox? Huh. It looks like he's been gone a while. But, well, uh, I thought we were lucky to see him. Ah, uh, I suppose so. I mean, he looks like he hasn't been to his apartment for quite a while. Suddenly, all three of your comps' emails alerts go off. 
a new email. From Naya. Congratulations. Oh wait, I need to read this in his voice. Ugh. Congratulations. It seems you've used the comp. Well done. I figured that the general uh, confusion would be dying down at this point. I gave you three of the comps because you will need the powers of the demons if you want to survive. Uh, you'll you'll have to learn how to use the. Uh, if you want to learn how to survive, you'll have to learn how to use them. Uh, I don't have much time right now, so head to Ayama Cemetery. You meet a person who, uh, who will affect your future activities there. Uh, alright. Alright, the DS ad- the DS ad- <laughs> Uh. Congratulations! You've uh, earned the qualifications to become a demon tamer. You can now summon demon at any time as, as an ally and command it. Please note that contracting with demons only occurs during the initial booting of this th program. If any demon summoned via other comps does not apply either. Also, a tutorial function has been added to assist you in battle. Please make use of it. Have a safe and pleasant experience in your new life as a demon tamer. Some weird ass emails, man. Um, what? Uh, who's writing these? Uh, can you hear? Uh, can you hear what we're saying? Or something? Or something? This is crazy. <laughs> um, now he's inside. Uh, uh, Naya's insight is his greatest strength. He's a genius when it comes to knowing what people uh, are going to do next. Anyway, uh, did you you guys read the other email? Ah, uh, Demon Tamer, huh? Yeah, I wanted to point that out. Uh, remember what those demons said during battle? About submitting to us, contracts, lending their power? That sound familiar? Uh, wait, wait a sec. Uh... I can't keep up with all this, it's also unreal. Um, so basically, the demons we fought can now be summoned from the comps and they'll be our allies? Yeah, uh, I can't say for sure until we uh, actually try it out. But after I got the email, something called Teams popped up on the comp menu. Maybe this is why Naoya entrusted us with these comps. Ah, jeez. If that's what he wanted all along, he could have just told us. <laughs> Yeah, yeah, I think so too. Uh, sometimes he's so smart I can't really understand him. But in any case, the email from Naya is said to go to Ayama Cemetery, right? He meant, it mentioned someone who affect, will influence our actions, but who could that be? It sounds like someone we're destined to meet. Do you think it'll be human? Ah, who knows? Considering all that's happened, anyone will be suspicious. Well. Um, it did say person. Uh, yeah, you're right. It does say person after all. This is not yet. He would have said monster or someone if he meant otherwise. Ah, uh, fine. I'd rather ask Naya uh, about this than sit around and being scared and stupid. Well, I guess we got no choice. If you two are going, I'm coming too. Let's go. Uh, I didn't want to say anything because Yuzu was getting all emotional, but... I found something in the comp's functions, let me explain it to you. The function called skill set uh, looks like it lets you use magic spells too. If we fight uh, demons again, it'll help uh, to set our comps to let us use them. It looks like there's a skill set for each of us right now. There's a total of four skills. It looks like you got to choose the team setup option to distribute points to us. Alright, so we have Adi, Zio, and Dia. Well, first, I'm gonna take off Zio from Astro because he's a physical character. Because if you look at the everyone's stats breakdown... Uh, okay, uh, well, actually, early game, it doesn't really matter as much since the stats are low and doesn't scale up too hard. But we see here that Astro's uh, distribution is leaning towards the uh, vitality side along with uh, strength. We see that Yuzu is leaning towards more magic than strength, uh, given that early boost. And then with me, uh, I can choose whatever the hell I want, so... I'm probably just gonna do a magic build, since that's my preference, because... Double Survivor 1, like, original skill variety was okay until you got to a late game. But... I've been playing a bit of Overclocked uh, on my 3DS, and uh... There's some pretty neat new skills. 
Like the stuff like multi strike, which is basically uh, you get to attack multiple times based on your agility, so you get to do some agility build stuff, which is actually pretty neat. But anyways, uh, kind of move on. Let's go save first. All right, to Aoyama Cemetery. Right, first, I need to get another drink because my throat's feeling kind of sore from all this talking. <laughs> Alright. God, uh, it must really suck playing a lot of other games that don't have any voices. <laughs> uh, but my, my, I don't think, I think it's only been like, what, one hour and my voice is already feeling funny? Alright, so here we are. So, who would be at a place like this? Oh, don't tell me it's a ghost. I, I feel like there's something out there. Uh, all those graves. Um, hang on a second. Aoyama Cemetery. Wait, that, that rings a bell. Oh shit, the email! Oh, huh? Ah! <laughs> I, can't, I can't do some creeps. Uh, was that an explosion? It, it sounded like it came out the other side of this forest. That uh, explosion in Aoyama Cemetery at 1800. It's just like the email said. Uh, look! Uh, something's coming! <laughs> that woman, I would never have knew humans could have such power. Wendigo, wait! Ah! Bulls! You're nothing like that woman. You think the puny things can stop me? A punch! Well, rip in peace, random man, you see? Ah, baby, I'm on it. I'm sorry. So is clock brain. Yeah, I could wear that better. Oh, I'll rip that guy. Yeah. I was trying to phrase that so much better, but I dropped the ball there. <laughs> huh? You, you humans are pests. Kill, uh, kill one and another one takes this place. I'll kill you all. And I'm, did I just do three different voices from? <laughs> but anyways, uh, here's the, this. Huh. Her hair looks pretty cool. Ah, I found you, Wendigo. I won't let you get away this time. Ugh, so the wench thinks she could catch up to me. Uh, hey, uh, you guys need to run away. Uh, it's dangerous here. Ah, oh, forget them, Atsuro. We need to run before we die, too. Uh, uh. Uh, what the? Uh, how many demons are there? Asa can take care of the pixie up there, and Yuzu can take care of the kobold down there, and the spash. Ah, I'm so gonna get you! Hey, you got- oh, wait, sorry. Hey, you guys, it's too dangerous here. Run! Yeah, right, but that's not an option right now. Those are cops, but what do they have done? Hey, uh, say something. <sighs> I guess I have no choice. I'll cooperate with you. But Wendigo is far too powerful a foe for you right now, so leave him to me. You will follow orders. Uh, yeah. I will follow your orders, so direct me as you please. The priestess is joining the party. The comp has activated the harmonizer for battle mode. Functions will be limited. Hey, the comp said you something. It's supposed to be the tutorial that the email mentioned. They showed up and we were fighting too. I guess some functions won't be usable. Yo, SPK, uh, is there any, are there any functions you can't use in the comp anymore? Uh, the boy, numbers vanished. Huh? Oh, that must be those numbers they talked about the uh, election museum. Ah, I'm so confused. Oh wait, uh, there's more to the tutorial. Each human race has a special skill called race skills. There are two kinds, automatic activation bonuses and command activation bonus skills. 
Use race skills to gain the upper hand in battle. You can view the race's skill with the effect with the help menu. And so I gotta use these demon skills as well, huh? Uh, whatever it takes to survive. Uh, I guess we have no choice. Uh, I'm glad we have you as an outside at all, but still. Consists of three units: you, summoner, and two contracting demons. Be cautious of the following: the leader is in the middle. If the leader is defeated, the whole team is destroyed. So as long as your minions live, the leader will have damage reduction. If you defeat a leader first, the experience and mocker of the remaining monsters is halved. It is to your advantage to kill the minions flanking their leader. All right, so we basically just want additional experience to kill everything. Simple enough. Pixie's uh, SP right now. Or MP, I guess. I, I, I am fumbling my way so hard this week. Uh, I, bl I blame it's late at night. Uh, Cobalt, aggravate. Guaranteed crits. Let's go be up this guy. Have you noticed when the words extra turn appear? Those with extra turn are displayed are an advantage and will receive more turns. This, this is how extra turn works. Higher speeds grant higher chances of getting extra turn. The attacking side gets more than more often than the defenders. Your actions during battle may also give you an extra turn or cancel an opponent's. Uh, by explaining weakness or landing a critical hit. Use these tactics to increase your chances of getting or canceling a foe's extra turn. A miss or an attack that is resisted, absorbed, or reflected may aid your foe. Pay close attention to your full status at the top of your top screen to avoid this. Yeah, but with so many tutorials. To make your foe's extra turn disappear and take it for yourself, strike the elemental weakness or land a critical attack. Oh, don't mind if I do. Oh, welcome back, Rhino. Right now we're just in the middle of Tutorial City. And uh, TLDR, uh, we went to the Aoyama Cemetery, like I said in the email, the explosion happened because we forgot that it was an email, and we're in a metal fight. Kind of just uh, what happened. Damn, burn. Alright, another sweet level up for the main character. I'm gonna go boost his magic up again. It seems like defeating demons sung by others does not enter them into a contract. So yeah, uh, like, uh, for now, um, the game's <coughs> <coughs> Sorry. So basically the game's just trying to explain to us, um, the game systems and the fact, uh, oh, I guess they're trying to explain stuff in lore, which is kind of... A little odd to say the least because they're actually trying to explain gaming things uh, uh, through our system. But, uh, okay, so we go there. So we got the priestess. When did go? go back from whence he came? Huh, I am I seeing things or is she holding a oh. Well, she already has like a high tier or higher tier skill, so I'll just burn this guy. And it's the kill. <laughs> uh, humans, I've learned your smells. This is far from over. Ugh, I can't just let him go. If I catch him now, if I let, wait. Uh, I can catch him uh, if I go now. So please excuse me. Well, she dished us. <laughs> Alright, drinking some hot cocoa. Nice. Alright, so get some edgy. Go look over. I'm gonna go for all the experience here, so I'm not gonna go rush the leader down. But I might wanna reconsider. Uh, oh, actually, can I kill Pixie? 
Alright, I can do it. There we go. Alright, I think Kabu still learned Sun for wind attacks. Nice, nice. Oh, what? Oh, yeah, he had a uh, Genki Crit. Oh, wait, one life? Oh, my God. God damn it. Alright, same thing as before. Burn the Ogre. Oh, no! Oh my god, even if that one additional magic point, that still wasn't enough. Well, it's a good thing they don't have a pixie to recover all their life. Let's see. On your allies' turns, you can open the system menu by pressing start. Here you can check on the turn order or use other convenient functions. Alright, nice, nice new game. Now, I'm not gonna let Atsuro kill anything because he's already got some experience. I need Yuzu to get some uh, nice XP right here. Uh, I was trying to hope that the Tron can also give you some bonus effects because uh, the, the way that um, fairy type monsters work, that when they use Charm, they they recover a low amount of life because it doesn't really scale that well, I think. Or actually, it was it static? Well, either way, um, uh, I think depending on the tier of the fairy, like the different monster type, and uh, among other things, they also provide uh, RNG bonuses like, uh, I think it was guaranteed crits, 100% uh, health restore, or a better turn order if I remember correctly. But I don't even get into that. No! Oh, okay. Gosh. Playing with anyway is so scary sometimes. Alright, Yuzu. Yeah, I I've also tried looking up any updates for uh, the BS, uh, BSMU uh, emulator. But for I guess they just stopped updating it because I can't find any new uh, updates of this. Or maybe, maybe it updated, but I don't know. So, wait, is that one life? Uh, kill that, lock that guy. Alright, uh, do I want to go ham on the magic again? Ah, yeah, that's the one more magic. I should wait. Uh, would I get a new skill later that. Ah, oh, no, that's a strength thing, so, more magic. I'm gonna go a bit of glass cannon here. Somehow, I, I, I'm still shaking. Uh, there's nothing they can do about it. But what, what we just went through, a, a person was killed. Uh, hey, the, the animal that attacked that person in that apartment. That was a demon, wasn't it? Uh, probably. Yeah, that's what I thought. Demons, huh? Looks like we're prepared for the worst. In any case, I never would have thought the Shomokai would be fighting against demons. They were using comps too, and the demons didn't really scare them. That explosion must have been caused by their fighting earlier. They knew about the demons way before we got our comps. Ah, uh, that, that means the demons have been around here for a long time then, huh? So what what are the Shomokai? Um off, I know. Yeah, we really don't know anything here. Anyway, there's no doubt that Shomokai uh, girl had amazing powers. That big demon Wendigo seemed to be afraid of her, too. Uh, did she be the person that mentioned that email from Korea? Uh, she might be the one. Uh, I 
love it too. She seemed really strong, and I got this feeling from her. Oh, the the e oh, oops. the emails, the demons. Now the Shimokai. Damn it! It's too much to think about. All we can do now is just pray that nothing else happens. But what the the, the street lights went out. Uh, what's going on? Oh, the email came true. The email- Oh yeah, I forgot about that. Uh, what's wrong, Atsuro? Yo, Kirby's right, it's a- it's a blackout. Remember what was in that first email? They- they said- said that there'd be a blackout. Is this for real? I mean, we don't know if it's citywide, but... So far, it's all coming true. I can't use my phone. I can't use my phone. Uh, uh why not? I'm getting okay, not ever set in, in a place like this. Uh, is this because of the blackout? But the phone centers have their own backup power, right? I mean, this doesn't make any sense. Uh, I, I don't know. I, I just can't use my phone anymore. Uh, well, I hope it's only temporary. I'm really tired. It's pitch black and. I never would have thought Tokyo would be so dark at night. Hey, uh, what are we gonna do now? Wait, someone's coming. So you were all safe. It's as I thought. You're a demon tamers as well. Uh, aren't you that girl from a while ago? I am Amane K uh, Kuzui, maiden of the Shelbun Kai. It's nice to meet you. Uh, Right, uh, I'm Atsuru uh, Kihara, and she is Yuzu Tanikawa. Oh, it's a pleasure. Oh, and, uh, you are... Uh, name's Bracelet. Kihara. Tanikawa. Slate. <laughs> I, I, I feel like I pick silly names sometimes. I shall remember your names. The Wendigo seems to have released his minions into the cemetery. I have set a simple barrier around this place tonight. It's best if you stay here. But uh, minions? Uh, you mean demons? Y you said we, we should stay, but this is, a this is a cemetery. It's better than dying. Wait here until dawn, then head for the station. Now I must go. But wait! Damn, what's going on? We said to stay here until the sun came up, so what should we do? Um, let's follow her advice. Uh, we don't have a choice. Uh, if she's right, then it's too dangerous to go anywhere now. But, but, this is a graveyard. Are we really gonna be okay? Uh, well, if a demon comes, we'll run. Yeah, uh, I, I don't think I can go far anyway. Uh, my legs are like jelly right now. We don't have a choice. Let, let's take turns keeping a lookout. Ugh, I never wanted to be more it's so hard in my life. Alright, and so we have the day ending emails. And a lapis letter from Naya. Um, uh, okay, right. I'm sure you've noticed the lapis mail by now, right? Everything in this world has causes and effects. If some intelligence could record and analyze every event simultaneously, the future would no longer be a mystery to us. Ultimately, Nothing created by man can ever truly be perfect, but you can use these messages to guide your actions from now on. Yo, it's Atsuro. I was listening to my comp earlier and saw that the email app's still working, even the blackout. Uh, if you know, if you know someone else's comp address, you can send them. You can send mail directly to them. Plus, it looks like two comps will automatically learn each other's addresses when they get close to each other. It takes a while though. Uh, I'm gonna go teach a uh, user how to use this for function. Too much stuff happened today, so uh, I'm so tired. Uh, I just want it to be morning. Uh, teach user for me. Uh, well, I guess I go read the first day cutscene and then uh, stop once we get to the map. Yo, morning Kirby. Get some sleep. Oh wait, wait. <laughs> I read the wrong. I read the wrong character. God damn it. I think. 
Uh, that girl was right. Uh, some demon-looking things passed uh, passed by, but they, they didn't notice us. Yeah, I, I saw them too, but now that the sun's out, uh, we can get out of here, right? Uh, we'll be alright. Cool, I'm glad I didn't have to spend the night alone, though it was pretty freaky. <laughs> yeah, uh, I hope that that's the last time we'll ever have to sleep in the cemetery. But lights never came back on, it's hard to tell in daylight, but there's no blackout. Yeah, I don't I still don't have any cell reception either, but so none of this was a dream after all. Huh? Uh was that that was the oh oops. Huh. That was the comes email beat. Wonder who it's from. Uh guess we should read it. The death clock. No way. You're still alive, aren't you? Uh, I'll explain the function of the death clock to you. The death clock displays the number of days a person has left to live. The details are, the death clock is only available to the party leader. A single digit, 1 through 9, is displayed. If a person has 10 or more days left before death, then nothing is displayed. Finally, the death clock is simply a value calculated by the Laplace system. A person's actions can cause the value to change, so be careful out there. Good morning! Here's today's news! Our outages will continue in all parts of Tokyo and the, within the Yamanote loop through the day. It is unknown when the power will be restored. Number 2. Poisonous gas is suspected to have escaped from underground pockets. All train service is cancelled across all lines and all exits within the Yamanote loop will be closed. At 1300, in Chiyoda Ku, uh, Bukyo, a localized blizzard will occur. Three victims will be murdered by a snowman. Have a nice day. Have a nice day. A, a death clock? Oh, no, no, no. A, a death clock? But what's up with that? I mean, so we can see uh, uh, how, how long people have left to live? Uh, hey, uh, Kirby, uh, th did you say that you can see a number over our heads? Uh, yeah, I did. Well, well, wait, what was it? Hey, uh, how many days do I have? It's zero, isn't it? Yesterday you said the number was one. Which means our number right now is zero, isn't it? That's right. Uh, 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 oh man, I'm gonna die today? Ah, uh, that's it, I've had enough. This, this stupid conversation is over. Come on, let's go. This is all some big hoax, right? Uh, let's let's just hurry back home. But the trains don't work. What? Uh, what do you mean? Oh, calm down, you who. I checked. I checked. Uh, uh, I checked the other email. Didn't you remember what it said? All stations are locked down. If that's true, then we wouldn't be able to use the trains. But but uh, how can we know for sure unless we go? Uh, the email might be wrong about that, right? hope so. Yeah, uh, I'm with you. No one says griping about it here. Let's check the nearest station. Uh, please let your your station be open. After leaving the cemetery and emerging in the Otomosando, uh, emerging in Otomosando, use the summit stops. Huh? Oh, hey, you guys, look! The road is littered with ruined cars. Other vehicles seem to be abandoned. What the hell? What happened here? What a mess. Uh, did all this happen because of that blackout we had for just one night? Uh, hold on, wait. It wasn't just the blackout. Huh? Uh, what do you mean? Uh, headlights aren't hooked up to a power grid, so accidents like this bad wouldn't have happened at all. Uh, then it really is because demons are in Tokyo? There's no proof, but that'd be my guess. Let's hurry, we're almost to Shibuya. The streets to Miyas... Look, oh, Japanese names. The streets to Miyas... Uh, Miyama Suka... <laughs> Miyama Suzuka... <laughs> oh my god, I did not just say Su... Oh my god. I, I blame Dota and TSCO for this shit. <laughs> Part of my French. Uh, let's see, uh, the streets are, cr are, are choked with crowds. 
No, no one can get near a Shibuya station. You can see the self-defense force vehicles and barricade past the crowd. Attention, poison gas has leaked. This area is dangerous. Please stay away from the Shibuya station. All lines, including private rails, are affected. Remain calm until the problem is resolved. Police blockades are in effect throughout the Yamano line, including overpasses. But all, all the rail lines? Then how are we supposed to get out of the Yamano circle? Hey, what's going on here? I don't have a full explanation for this. The cause is currently under investigation. Until then, please obey our instructions. To ensure everyone's safety, we, under we ask for everyone's understanding and cooperation. We are also looking into the explosion that occurred in Aoyama Cemetery last night. If you have any information, please inform a disaster re a relief worker immediately. The angry mob slowly quiets down upon hearing the SDF officer's repeated message. Uh, have I watched Mobile Sunshine yet? Uh, I have not. Uh, I haven't caught up with too many animes lately. And there's some that I've been watching for this season, but I haven't had the time to uh, look up the new episodes. Okay. Uh, eventually, the gathered crowd begins to disperse, as if they are giving up. Damn! Not only are the, uh, aren't the trains working, we can't even get near the station! Was that stuff about the gas leak true? You think it's because of the demons too? Uh... I don't think so, Yuzu. I agree. Huh? You think they could put all these barricades and uh, block in the entire area over one night? No. It looks it looks to me that they they were prepared way in advance for this. Wait, you mean? Yeah, there's something else going on here that we don't know about. Damn, everything that Emo said is coming true. At this rate, we're, we're gonna. Well, let's raise the number then. You mean to change how long we have on the death clock? Oh, good idea, Kirby. Now his email said that the uh, number changes based on what we do. So let's do something about all this. The lapis mail stuff, uh, stuff, blah, blah. The lapis mail stuff about not escaping the Yamano area and us going down today. Let's prove it wrong. Haha. <laughs> oh, I'm surprised to hear that from you, as, uh, Kirby. The Death Clock and the Lapis Mail seem to be running on the same predicted algorithm. Which means the Death Clock uh, uses what the Lapis Mail says to calculate an exact number. Its probability ratio is probably really high. The underlying process must be real complicated to calculate this. Oh, whoa, slow down, uh, Slow down, Whiskin. You're getting a little ahead of us non eggheads. Oh, uh, sorry, uh, it's an important point though, so listen. With an algorithm this complex, one mistake can cause a very large error. Which means, if we make sure that the things in a lapis snail does come true, its predictions become useless, affecting the death box readout. Oh, then does that mean we don't have to die today? Uh, I don't want to be pessimistic. Oh, seems that way. Oh, so we do have a chance. Uh, it's not certain that the results will be thrown off, mind you. But it's probably safe to assume that we can change the outcome. Uh, is this really possible? Huh. What's the matter, Yuhu? This is your idea anyways. Huh? Uh, but I, I didn't know you're all that stuff you're talking about, though. Ah, <laughs> uh, there's Yuhu, I know. Don't explain it, okay? Alright, let's do whatever we can to find a way out of this lockdown. As long as we prevent what's uh, predicted in those emails, we can beat the death clock. Yeah, come on, let's go. Even in the area inside the Yamano Mine lockdown, there must be a secret exit or something. That's right, but we'll have to be careful of the police and the self-defense force though. Huh? But why? Well, we have the cops on us. But Kirby's right. If they get suspicious and interrogate us, they'll take away our comps. There's a lot of strange stuff going on, so I'm pretty sure the police are questioning people everywhere they can find them. Remember how the SDF, SDF guy said that, or at the station said that they were looking into the explosion? Uh, yeah, uh, alright then, uh, we'll be extra careful. Oh, uh, see ya, Rhino. Thanks for sticking around. Uh, I'm probably just gonna end the stream here too, uh, now that we got through that intro cutscene. But I gotta read through more tutorials! Oh. 
uh, oh whoops, I forgot to read that. Most battles cannot be avoided, but you can flee some during battle. So basically the game is telling us about the uh, free battle system here, so we can just get some quick XP. And yeah, there's nothing really much else to do here. I think if I look around, there should be some uh, free stuff I can get. Hey, blah blah blah. Alright, do you know what this is? Do you get 50 Maka? Ah, there it is. Alright, so we're given free, uh, hell money. But anyways, that's gonna be about it.